David Grush says the government's lying to you. It is. And before you laugh, I'm actually talking about some pretty far out stuff. Far out, dude. What's up, guys? True Crime King back. Okay. So, uh, now they're officially coming out. They are saying we have a whistleblower that had, uh, classified clearance. He is saying unequivocally there are aliens and the U.S. has downed aircraft or spacecraft and alien bodies 100 percent so i guess we definitely have to start taking it seriously right let's see what uh news nation has to say here we go like really far out stuff like covering up the existence of ufos once again before you laugh david grush is no joke he is an air force veteran he is also a former member of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Okay, you got to be pretty smart to be there. Part of the Pentagon, okay? He says he has seen evidence of secret crash retrieval program, a secret crash retrieval program that's been hidden for decades. Crashes of UFOs. He says he's even retrieved bodies of other species, or at least he's seen the evidence of that. This is big, weird stuff. Right. From a big guy. He's whistleblowing now. He's saying this is stuff that, you know, public needs to know about. Congress needs to know about. Shouldn't be kept secret. And so this is what he told jo uh, journalist Ross Colehart, who's reporting for News Nation. Take a look. You are saying to the human race for the first time, an official intelligence representative at a high level from the U.S. government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. Absolutely, the data points empirically that we're not alone, yeah. Do we have bodies? Do we have species? Of well, naturally, um, when you recover something that's either landed or crashed, um, sometimes you encounter um, dead pilots. And uh, believe it or not, as, fa as fantastical as that sounds, it's true. To be honest with you, I kind of believe, I do believe, um, there has been other, uh, military officials before, uh, that have said this, but no one's really taking them seriously, but now, I mean, even the, go the U.S. government is, uh, almost confirming his story. I mean, obviously, most of the documents are classified, but let's see what else he says. Okay, uh, Grush filed a whistleblower complaint, like I told you, and this is what he told News Nation. Uh, there is a sophisticated disinformation campaign targeting the U.S. populace, which is extremely unethical and immoral. Department of Defense has released a statement that reads, in part, to date... The AARO, which is the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office in the Pentagon, has not discovered any verifiable information to substantiate claims that any programs regarding the possession or reverse engineering of extraterrestrial materials have existed in the past or exist currently. AARO is committed to following the data and its investigation wherever it leads. Which Okay, let's pause it right there. Well, of, co of course the Pentagon can't come out at least without uh, having a extensive uh, preparedness. I mean, if they came out and actually told the world that they had these bodies or craft, it would it might cause a huge panic. It, it could, there's so many things that could go wrong with this, right? Uh, a lot of religions would be turned upside down, right? leads me to Ben Hansen. He's the host of Discovery Plus's UFO Witness. Ben Hansen, what is your read on all this David Grush business? This is uh, quite amazing, actually. I was um, uh, attending a UFO conference this morning when this broke, and uh, thank you for covering it. 
This is a bombshell. We, we've had whisperings that uh, these whistleblowers are going to be coming out, that uh, uh, the select committees uh, in Congress are, you know, kind of floored at what they're hearing. But this seems to be kind of like a, a pre-show to what might be coming in the next hearings because this was unexpected. Exactly. They could be just getting us ready for the big, you know, reveal sometime down in the future. Um, they're not going to, I mean, obviously they can't hide this forever, right? Um, the smarter the, the human race gets, right? And the more, um, the more uh, that this happens, right? Um, more people are going to see it and with their own eyes, right? And uh, Grush comes forward, his credentials check out. I've been talking to multiple people. In fact, um, those who worked with him at Space Force, he is the real deal. And for him to- Yeah, and I have done, uh, I have uh, done my research before doing this video. So I'm not just uh, putting it out there as well. So that's why I, I do believe this guy. Come out now and the position that he had uh, in, in gathering these reports from those involved in the crash retrieval programs and come out now with pre-authorization from the DOD to speak on this matter, uh, we're all kind of scrambling to figure out why. Why now? What's going on? Why, right? So he said non-human pilots have actually been recovered from some of these wrecks. I don't under... I mean, if non-human pilots, if this is true, right? I mean, this is one of the big, big three or four questions that that we all have right i mean how are we here uh what you know how what created the universe uh is there is there a god 100 percent? and is there life on other planets right i mean everybody is trying to figure out those answers right understand what the value in keeping the lid on this for days, years, decades would be. I, I would think that we would need to be readied and prepared and maybe even allied um, around the world if that's the case. What is the purpose of keeping it under wraps? I mean, why else will we have a space force, right? Well, and, and here's the, the next thing, right? Because we're all talking about, um, we would love to hear, uh, most of us would like to hear all the truth, have it laid out before us, but um, you know, I, I also work as a professional crisis and emergency manager. And one of the big problems I was um, doing research at Georgetown University exactly on this is that when we're, um, you know, thinking about how great it would be to know this knowledge, you have to remember this is basically an existential crisis. We're, we're shifting people's realities and a lot of people are not going to take this well. And we need to be very careful. So if there is a plan in place, which I highly doubt, um, those in, in power need to stay ahead of the game. If they don't do it correctly, we could have what we call cascading effects. And, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, if the government does come out and reveal all this, it could cause numerous issues around the world. Panic is one of them, right? Um, so they have to have a plan before they come out and actually uh tell the world right they have to be prepared for any any of these situations that might occur right and don't you know i'm the messenger here so don't shoot me but i'm just you know how i am i tell it how how i see it and i'm telling you how i see it and uh, th this could be detrimental, I think, to society because of um, we saw kind of a, a little bit of that in COVID when uh, reality kind of hit us, you know, pretty strong and quick. And so yeah. um, it, it, it's uh, anyone's guess, though, whether the government really has a plan for this or not. OK, Ben Hansen, I need you to clear your schedule, because as this continues to move up the chain and into Congress, um, I'm going to be calling on you for some help <laughs> to get me off the ledge. Thank you for this. Thank you for let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Notifications, like, subscribe. Oh, and thanks to our new member, Lisa and um, 
Lisa. We got two Lisas. True Crime King out.